Pirate Pistons fans, so in today's video, we are going to be talking about Cade Cunningham, the 6 feet 8, small 4, point guard, whatever you want to call him, the 19 year old man out of OSU. So I'm about to be giving y'all my full breakdown. Now before we start at college, let's take it a step back and let's go to his junior year in high school so that I can give you guys a little bit of backstory about Cade. So in his junior year, Kay ended up going to Mount Verde. And if you are a high school basketball guy and you don't know where Mount Verde is, that is the school that a few years ago was constantly competing against Chino Hills. And if you don't know about Chino Hills, that's the same school that had Lonzo Ball, LaMelo Ball, LiAngelo Ball. So basically he ended up going, Kay Cunningham, he went to a school that once competed against Lonzo and LaMelo and all of those guys. So I just wanna make sure that y'all know that Kay went to one of the most elite high schools in the nation and he faced the best competition in high school. And that was just his junior year. Now, he ended up playing with Scotty Barnes, another guy who could be taken in the lottery in this draft. That's just a little brief backstory on his high school career. Now let's move to his college career where things really get going. Now going into college, he was ranked the second player in the nation behind Jalen Green. And he committed to OSU because of his brother. His brother was hired there. And then the coach at OSU was the first coach to ever recruit K. So he said that was one of the big factors and reasons why he ended up going to OSU. While he was at OSU, he averaged 20 points, six rebounds, three assists, 40% from the three-point line and 84% from the free throw line. So in college, those were the stats. Really, really good year. Now I'm gonna get more specific and talk about the things that I really, really like about this game. First thing I wanna say is, you know, the handle slash shot creating. I absolutely love it. This man will be able to get space for himself once he makes it to the NBA. And to go with that, he has the shooting as well. So he has the ability to get away from guys and also knock down his shots with that 40% from three-point line. The next thing I want to say is his passing. Now, this doesn't get enough love because when you first look at it, you say, oh, he only averaged three points. You guys need to know that at OSU, he didn't play with the greatest talent, all right? They didn't have the best players at OSU. So it's not that he wasn't passing in the ball. It's that he was passing in the ball. It's just that they weren't always knocking down his shots. So the averaging three assists, that's not really an accurate representation of what kind of playmaker he is because he is one heck of a playmaker. And the next thing that I want to say is that his defense, I feel like potentially he could, can get really, really good there someday because of his length, his size, and athleticism is already there. He just needs to get overall a little bit better on defense. But as of right now, I would say he's above average on defense. And now I want to show y'all two specific plays that really highlights his game. And it really just highlights why I love him as well. So this first play is going to be him running in transition, passing the ball to another player, and then the player passing the ball back to Cade. Cade hits the shot. I'm going to play the clip here now. So yeah, man, I really, really love that play because it highlights what he's all about. He's a guy who can run in transition and then he's a willing passer. He has court vision and he sees his, his open teammate right beside him. So he passes him the ball. And then the teammate decided, hey, Kate, I'm gonna give the ball back to you. You're wide open. He knocks down a three. That accurately shows he has playmaking ability. He has court vision and he can knock down shots. I love that specific play because that really highlights his game. The next play that I'm gonna show y'all is a play, is a play where he basically got past his defenders and then passed the ball to an open teammate. Now, granted, this was against Wichita State, and they're not the greatest basketball team, but, but this clip still applies. So yeah, that's just another clip highlighting his game. Really love to see it. And right now, I'm about to show y'all something that his head coach said about K after the Pistons won the draft lottery. So I'm going to put the image on the screen. Um, his head coach, his name is Mike, and he said, hey, Detroit Pistons, there is a real star headed your way. Take good. Where do I go to buy tickets? Hashtag, let's work. So there you go, that's from his head coach. I thought that was really cool and wanted to put it in the video. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna talk about is Kevin Durant actually shows some love to this guy. I'm about to play the clip here in a second. Kevin Durant gave love to Kay Cunningham. Show the clip. Y'all team young athlete, y'all nice, man. Y'all yeah, putting it together though. I told you, bro. Say what? Yeah, you did say that y'all was going to be nice. And I didn't believe y'all, too. I watched that game, y'all beat us. I was so pissed we tricked that game off, bro. And then you, you hit that garbage-ass step back. That track. You. That shit was luck. What you mean? He let me get in rhythm, bro. Bro, I was so hot. You was, you, everything you was shooting before then was a little off. I'm like, oh, yeah, you about to take this game from me. And then you hit that one. I'm like, shit. 
So there you have it. Kevin Durant, NBA champion, MVP. Give it love to Kay Cunningham. That's what I'm talking about. If you guys want to find Kay Cunningham's best college game, I recommend you go watch the game against Kansas. I actually just included one of the highlights here. Um, the game against Kansas, they were one of the best teams in the country at that time. If you want an accurate representation of his game, go watch that full game because it shows off scoring, shooting, defense, offense. Basically, that game against Kansas going up against one of the best teams in the country, that shows everything you need to know about K. And then I guess I'll mention a few weaknesses here. So I'll include one that he said about himself. Now in an interview with JJ Redick, he said that one of his biggest weaknesses is playing off ball defense. I think my biggest strength is probably the way I can elevate my teammates into being better players. I feel like I'm good at, you know, getting them better shots and, you know, just the way I can talk to my teammates, things like that. I feel like I'm good at, you know, leading. Um, and my biggest weakness, I'd say just 24 seven off the ball defense, just being locked in. I feel like if I just off the ball, you know, back doors and things like that, if I could be 24 seven locked in on that, then I feel like I'd be good. I feel like I'm close though. I'm, I'm not too far from there, but 24 seven locked in. And definitely, you know, I feel like I could definitely limit turnovers from my handle, shoot the ball better, all those things. But I think just mental awareness 20, like for the whole, duration of the game and then taking care of that ball, I'll be good. This thing is his turnovers because at OSU, he was the primary ball handler. And with that comes a lot of turnovers, a lot of times where he has to over dribble and accidentally make a bad pass. Just, it wasn't necessarily his fault because again, his team wasn't the greatest. So that contributed to some of the mistakes that he had. But yeah, I did want to mention that sometimes he does turn the ball over a little bit too much. So yeah, man, if I were to give him a little bit of player comparison, I guess we'll listen to him. He said that he compares himself to Luka Doncic. I could see that a little bit, but I've also heard people say that he's somewhere near Paul George. I've heard some people say he's somewhere near Devin Booker. I just say, I just say this, man. Kay Cunningham is a dude, can score, he can pass the ball, he has court vision. He can play defense just all around. He's a all around player, an all around talent. Not to take a shot at Jalen Green, but I just want to say, you know, the difference between him and Jalen Green, Jalen Green is primarily an offensive scorer, doesn't really give you that much on defense. And even on offense, it's not like he gives you passing because really Jalen Green really gives you shooting, scoring, you know, attacking to the basket, you know, things that is good for him, but it doesn't really make his teammates better. Whereas you have Kay, the type of play that he plays, it makes his teammates play better. And just all around, K has a really, really solid game. So, man, I finally did this player breakdown, whatever you want to call it, the analysis, whatever. I finally did it. Now, soon I'm going to be getting back to doing the lesser players that people don't really know about, the dudes who's supposed to be taken in the second round, since we have three second round picks this year. And those are going to be coming out soon. So let me know how y'all feel in the comment section below. Like this video, comment on this video, share this video. Thank y'all for 1K, and I'm off.